All right, my beach cart just arrived from Challenger Outdoors. I am going to unbox it and put it together. Let's see what we've got. There's the cart with the coolers and examples. She doesn't come with the package. Here's the spec. You can stop that if you need to read it. Let's open it up. Cool, it's a model J2020 if I didn't mention that. Yeah, it looks like it's packed up pretty nice. Well, it comes with this bag so you can take the wheels off and, uh, and carry it. Cool. Well, I'll tell you, they don't, they don't advertise really what comes in this package very well, uh, at least not online. I, mean, I can see this stuff listed, but it comes with a, you know, a pump. I, mean, I didn't anticipate that. I thought it was going to be using a bicycle pump. Cheap strap. Yeah, I'll probably use one of mine. Axle has one through bolt. There's one through bolt on this side. I can see it going through. Hundred degrees out here. Actually, a little hotter. No instructions whatsoever. That's interesting. I don't have a problem with that, but some people might. You never know. Looks thin in the you know in in real life, but it's actually pretty heavy metal. Um, it, you know, it's not the lightest thing in the world, which is a, kind of a nice surprise. It's got three three handle links, and it's got these little beads for stoppers. You know, I'm tall and just always something too short for me. Oh, there we go. So that trips it so you can get down easier. Cool. It's got some heft to it. Interesting to see. This seems kind of cheap. The handle itself seems kind of cheap. The rest of it, the frame, is, is a good bit better. See, it's all welded and so forth. This is chrome of some sort. It's kind of alloy. I don't know about that. does not talk about pressure. I saw somewhere else online, I think it was on wheelies, where um, they were filling the tires up to four pounds, right? Not much, ton of volume, but not much pressure at all. So I'm gonna, I think, try that and see what happens. And I'm gonna use the air compressor. I don't like doing pumps. <laughs> you know, I mentioned that four pounds of pressure in here. I don't have anything that'll read four pounds of pressure. I mean, that's just not very much, so I'm gonna wing it. Oh, here it is. There's a sticker. Three pounds. I mean, the pump that comes with it doesn't have a gauge on it, and I don't have anything that's going to read three pounds. I guarantee you. Ooh. The valve is leaking. It stopped. Right, so, you know, when you want to move this thing, or you got to put it in a car, or get it through, you know, some smaller space, just pull the pin, the wheel comes off, it comes off easy enough, you can dump them in the bag. I think the bag is really a good idea. I didn't know how I was going to do that, and that's perfect. Um, you know, maybe this needs a little bit of, maybe some WD, just to, I don't want to grease it, right? It's going to be in the sand, it's going to get all stuck up in there. Uh, oil would do the same thing. WD will at least give it like a coat, and then it'll eventually evaporate and dry. So, I'm thinking that would maybe help this, because this is a plastic hub. And, you know, it's on an aluminum shaft here. You know, I don't know. You get sand up in there, and I think it's going to maybe slow it down. I'm not really sure. But it's really easy to get these wheels off like that. Really easy. Right. Yep, yep, yep. 
Boy, that is a flimsy handle. That is really flimsy. This is good. This is not good. All right, so there it is. That looks pretty good, right? I mean, I, I, I like it. It's, you know, I totally winged it on the, on the pressure, but I anticipate putting a lot of gear on this when we head for the beach. Um, this handle, right? I don't know about this thing. This thing is just flimsy. Uh, I don't really like that too much. So, yeah, that's, that's a, that is not good. I wonder what I either have to do or will do in order to fix that. I don't care for that much. Much better at about half length, but then of course it's a little bit lower, so. I don't know, why do you go, why do you cheap out on one component, right? It kind of messes up the whole thing, it's crazy. Okay, so let's look at how, how this works a little bit more closely. So when this flips down, these two bars kind of are spring-loaded. And, you know, I'm a little concerned, right? So if you got too much weight on here, this thing could, in theory, collapse over. I don't know exactly how that's going to work, but that's, that's how it's been designed. And then this handle, I just can't get over how cheap this handle is. This is a Made in America product, and I guess what I would say to my countrymen is don't make stuff like this, right? That doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, this, this handle is just all flopping around in here. I mean, it's just it's just cheap, right? It doesn't make any sense at all. This thing is $175. You get a better handle on a, uh, you know, a suitcase at Walmart. I mean, it makes no sense. So why would you do that? It's just beyond me. Um, I did read about guys who were modifying, like, other carts and so forth, and I may very well do that, but... You know, we'll see. We still got to load it up, drag it around the beach, actually use the thing, but it's unnecessary to do it like that. I don't think, you know, maybe another $20 and they're buying this stuff in, in bulk. It probably cost them two bucks to make this handle. All right, so you saw me load it up, right? Um, that, that works okay. What I don't like is yesterday I got busted in the chops by this thing because I was loading it in the truck. We were leaving and uh, I lifted up. See, this doesn't lock, right? This just stays, it flops. So I lifted it up, not thinking, 
and this thing came forward and busted me in the lip. Wasn't too happy about that. These things here on the corner, right, this little pin, this is ridiculous. See, you can even see there's something, it caught something on our bag. I'm gonna take it and cut that off and grind it when I get home, so I don't have to mess with that anymore. Um, the handle is only half, uh, halfway up, it's in the half position. You know, we could put it up higher, but it gets a little, you know, flimsy, right? So if you manage it, it's okay. We've used this thing four to five times every single day, hotel to beach to beach to hotel and back and forth. So it does the job. It just has some oddities about it that just don't make any sense. Thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe to me. Appreciate your views and your comments. Thanks.